Now all this setup is pretty much the same and if anybody understands the plasma ignition circuits and why I'm using that to discharge a cap on the back side is that that 1000 volt charge in a 4000 volt cap being discharged over a gap is equivalent to the front side cap anyway being a big capacitive discharge and then and right here what I've done is added two points so those two points really equal one large cap this point right here is connected to this uh, diode bank which is going to this battery bank okay and then this is going into the coil out of the coil and everything is tied to common ground and so uh, what I'm going to do is show what it kind of looks like when I have a high current source of a 24 volt battery bank each one is 7 amp hours so that's not super high like a car battery or anything but you know it's more than a couple little capacitors charged up so what I'm going to do is just put on the trigger side right now and you can see that it's three places where it's sparking between the high voltage rods between the rod and the pin where the uh, red cable is connected to and then the ground or at, at the grid so let's go into all three okay so what I'm going to do is I'm charging this cap up and that's a thousand volts right there and what I want you to see is color change okay but what I'm going to show you is you can see this battery bank right here is sitting at 24.16 volts and when I run it you can see that it does a pretty good job of charging this battery the thing about it is is this negative on the battery bank is connected to common ground and you see this positive or that uh, pin which would be analogous to the low voltage rod with a battery not a capacitor but a battery in series with this diode bank but what I didn't really show you was it's not even connected that positive these two batteries are in series you can see this wire here negative is connected to common ground and the positive isn't even connected I just have a voltmeter on it and it charges the battery one wire right off of there so that's just another demonstration of uh, what's possible with these circuits